and very balanced scoring by the Hawks. Seven guys in double figures. Can't beat that. And Titus is going to get an escort back to the locker room. Now, Titus, you got to pick it up. Those, those strides for Dad are a little bit bigger than your strides. So maybe two for one. I think Titus is going to get on the interview, too. No, he'd rather go play ball. He's Dad. so cute. I'm going to need some advice soon, Trey. He's adorable. Titus, Titus. <laughs> hey, the best time to start is now. Well, you guys had six double-figure scores in this one. It seems like the ball is moving more game to game. What was key to making that happen tonight against the Lakers? Uh, we just, I mean, came out and executed the game plan that Coach gave us. He wanted, wanted us to run. We knew they were coming up a back-to-back, and uh, we just knew we needed to play in transition and get some stops, and uh, we knew we could take care of business if we did that. For you, Trey, you didn't get to the free throw line until the fourth quarter. We used to seeing you get to the uh, free throw line, you know, more than that, but you impacted the game in different ways for the first three quarters. What's your secret to making those in-game adjustments and still being able to impact the game the way you do? I mean, it ain't no secret. I mean, I, I can do more than just score. Like, it ain't, it ain't no secret. I can get other people involved if I'm not scoring or getting to the free throw line. Like, I can get, get my teammates involved, and ultimately that's going to open up the floor for me. So uh, if something's not going, if I'm turning the ball over, I need to be more aggressive. I can go score, uh, which is what I did in that first half. And then... Uh, just kind of everything else opened up. No big let ups for you guys tonight. You led every single quarter. What does that say about the growth of this team? Uh, we, we just getting better every game. Uh, every day we just got to continue to take it one game at a time and not look too far ahead and not get caught up in a, in a big loss or whatever it is. He's got to keep focusing on the main thing and um, taking care of business every day. And I'll leave you on this one. We've got your son here, Titus. He is so adorable. But, you know, how does it feel to just have him here witness this? Witness not only your greatness, but, of course, LBJ's greatness, and you guys get this win on your home floor. Uh, it's really cool. I, I don't know if he's going to remember too many memories that's going on right now, but he'll have a lot of videos and a lot of – uh, memories, I mean, from pictures, looking back on days like today. and um, I mean, I always just try to represent my family and, and everything I do in the best way I can. So with him being here, that's just, I mean, he's my wife. So uh, I just wanted him and my kid, him and my little girl at home. So I just want to continue to, to be a blessing to everybody around me, including my son. He's so well behaved. I'm not kidding about that advice from you and Shelby. Great game tonight. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Trey Young. What a good game. A great game for the Hawks. Good ball handling skills by Titus. He didn't flinch hey, through the entire interview. When you see it every day, it's automatic. What a great shot as they exit together. Back to the locker room, dad and son. And souvenir time for a lucky fan. We all love that one. Who didn't? He come in here and spank the Lakers 138 to 122 the final score tonight here at State Farm Arena. For that little fella it's a long walk back to the locker room. But he got it covered. He got his dad. He got his dad right there. No problem. Dad's got to go. Yeah, got to get back to the locker room.